All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my annual NBA playoff predictions. I say annual, but this is literally only my second year doing it. Last year, I only went over like what seeding they're gonna be. I didn't go over like the in-depth who's gonna be the champion or all that. These are the preseason rankings I'm gonna have. I'm also gonna predict the champion or who's in the finals. I don't know if I'm gonna predict a champion. But if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I think the day I'm uploading this, the NBA season officially starts. So that's something. Spider-Man series is gonna start very soon. Don't don't you worry a little bit. Nonetheless, let's get into this prediction starting off in the Eastern Conference. All right, for the East, the number one seed I believe is going to be the Milwaukee Bucks. I think they're gonna be the one seed once again. Um, they're the best team in the East. They got Giannis. They just added Drew Holiday to replace Eric Bledsoe. Still got Mel they got the same team, so I still think they'll be the number one seed. As for the team they'll be facing in the first round, I believe that will be the Washington Wizards. Yeah, I believe the Wizards will sneak in as the eighth seed over teams like the Hornets. I don't think the Bulls are going to make the playoffs, just to be honest here. I do think they'll sneak in over the Hornets and the Magic. Um, so, with Russell Westbrook hoping the whole team stays healthy and they gel together, Russell Westbrook plays well like he did the second half of the season, they'll definitely be a playoff team. I think they'll be the eighth seed. I think their um, cap is probably like the sixth seed. I think that's the highest they could make it. For the number four seed, I believe I have that as the Boston Celtics. Now, when I first made this list, I kind of forgot the Celtics altogether. So I put the Celtics as the fourth seed. Now, don't take the rankings too seriously. In the Eastern Conference, I expect it to be very close. So Celtics at the fourth seed and whoever I have as a third seed, they're probably extremely close. Maybe like a game or maybe even a tiebreaker. That's how close I expect it to be. But the Boston Celtics, I do as my um, fourth seed. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, they did lose Gordon Hayward and they lost Kemba Walker for the first couple weeks of the season. So we'll see how well they do. Can they actually make it over the hump? which they haven't been able to do in the past two to three years. We'll see. For the fifth seed, though, I have the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't buy into the hype of this team. Maybe it's because I'm a Heat fan. I don't know. I don't buy into the hype of the Sixers. Last year, everyone was typing them up, thinking they're going to win it all or just win the East. No. Losing Jimmy Butler impacted them a lot. But the moves they made, this Daryl Morey made very, very good moves this offseason. Grabbing Danny Green and Seth Curry, those were huge additions to this team. I know Danny Green has the memes all around him, but grabbing those two players was great, especially Seth Curry. So I expect him to be the fifth seed. Um, so there it is. As my third seed, there is really no bias going into this, but I have the Miami Heat as the third seed. I expect Bam to take an all NBA type of leap this season. Jimmy Butler, I expect to play around the same he did. Tyler Hero, I expect to take a leap. Um, Casey Okpala showed promise in the um, preseason. I've always liked him. Precious Achua, I don't expect him to be great right now, but he's going to be a solid player. They picked up Mo Harkless and Avery Bad Bradley, but we also lost Jay Crowder and um, who else did we lose? All right, we lost Derek Jones Jr. I can't believe I forgot about him. It was one of my favorite players on the team. We did lose Derrick Jones Jr., but they brought in Mo Harkless, who is a pretty decent wing defender. But two big losses in Jay Crowder and Derrick Jones. I still think they'll be the third seed. Like I said, them and the Celtics are going to be neck and neck for that, so I wouldn't be surprised if he fall down the four or five. For the sixth seed, I do have the Toronto Raptors. No disrespect to the Raptors. I do think they took a, took a big hit losing Serge Ibaka. I have a feeling teams in the East got a lot better. The Raptors didn't really make many moves at all besides signing Aaron Baines, who is the GOAT. I think they'll be a very, very good six seed, maybe winning 40. Well, I got to remember, the game's only the season's only 72 games. So they'll win around 43 to 44 games, most likely. For the two seed, the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I had a tough decision making the Nets the two seed because it is Kyrie and Katie's first season together. But... If you have KD and Kyrie on the same team, mainly KD, you're going to be very good. And I think they'll be the two seed in the East, close to the three seed in the Heat. I think the Bucks will go beyond in a way with the Eastern Conference like they do every year. But I do have the Nets as a two seed. And the final, the seventh seed, the Indiana Pacers. Everyone being healthy, the Pacers are still a very, very good team. 
but in this Eastern Conference, I see him falling all the way down to seventh. Victor Oladipo hasn't been the same. Malcolm Brogdon solid. Um, Demonte Sabonis is obviously an All Star, but I think this team's gonna be a seven seed, a very good seven seed. And that is that is the predictions for the East ranking wise. Now for the West. All right, so the first seed in the Western Conference. The Los Angeles Lakers just saw it coming. They're the reigning champions. They got LeBron, AD. They made some solid moves this offseason. They they made, got Montrez Harrell. They got Marcus Saul. So I do like the Lakers as the one seed. The eighth seed, now that I think about it, I do like it. But there was one team I forgot to put in the um, West. The West is very difficult to pick for playoffs. But I had the Phoenix Suns finally making the playoffs as the eight seed chris paul devin booker mikhail bridges deandre eight and that team looks really really good i expect them to be eight seed i expect them to be a playoff team there they could be anywhere they could be out of the playoffs they could be as high as a fifth seed in my opinion this sun's team we, no one knows what they're gonna do so we'll see as the fourth seed though i kind of who would i put oh i put the portland trailblazers as the fourth seed the Blazers, in my opinion, had probably the best offseason. In my opinion, I think the Blazers might have had the best offseason. The position they always needed, the positions they've lacked for years and years and years, has been the wing, the small forward, possible power forward. They have never had a good defending or just a good small forward, period. They picked up Robert Covington, who is one of the best 3 and D players in the league. Play small forward. I'm not sure if they're going to play him at power forward. They picked up Robert Covington. What a great pickup. They picked up Derek Jones Jr. Another tremendous pickup for them. He fits what they need so well. Covington and Derek Jones Jr. fits what the Blazers need so well that they're going to be a really good team. They also have Rodney Hood coming back. Um, They have Zach Collins coming back. They got rid of Whiteside, so that leaves more minutes open for Nurkic. This Blazers team is going to be a problem. I wouldn't be surprised if they make a finals run. As the fifth seed... The Cinderella story of last year, the Denver Nuggets. I know they were the third seed. I know they've been a very good team. So I don't, I, their team, they really didn't do anything. I think they're one of the teams in the offseason that didn't change much at all. They brought back Paul Millsap, which was good. But Michael Porter Jr. is probably going to take a jump. Maybe Jamal Murray takes an all-star type jump. We'll see. As the third seed, I have a team that some of you might disagree with. I had the Clippers going as the third seed they were the second seed in real life i think they're going to take a step back and go to the third seed they did lose montres harrow who was a huge part he won six man of the year for them that was a huge part of their team they lost they did bring in luke Kennard, who i really like he just got an extension i like that addition for their team um they brought in sergi baka another good addition i think they'll be a third seed the sixth seed i do have the houston rockets now this is my dilemma this is if James Harden stays. But the team I forgot to put in was the Golden State Warriors. Now, I would swap the Rockets and the Warriors, honestly. Like, those two, I'd flip-flop them. I don't know who would make the playoffs and who wouldn't. But as of now, I'm going to keep the Rockets in the playoffs. Let's say, I really hope it doesn't happen. Let's say, like, Harden gets hurt or John Wall gets hurt. Then, I'd have the Warriors in that spot. Let's say Curry gets hurt or, like, someone like Kelly Oubre gets hurt. The Rock is going to be there. I doubt James Harden gets traded this season. So that's why I have the Rockets to the 6th seed. And the Warriors are not in my playoff spots for the West. I know it's disrespect. I do think they might make it in real life. But there's just way too many good teams in the West. I don't think the Warriors have enough without Klay Thompson to actually make the playoffs. For the 2 seed. Some people may think this is stupid. I think they're going to be really good to be honest. The Dallas Mavericks. Luka, they picked up Josh Richardson, one of my favorite players, who I think fits perfectly next to Luka. They got Porzingis second season in Dallas. Um, they have Dorian Finney-Smith, Jalen Brunts. This team is going to be really good. They did lose Seth Curry, but I really, really like the Mavericks. And I think, honestly, Luka is going to win MVP this year. Last year, there was people telling me that he was going to win it last year. I was one of the people that said, no, nah, there's no way in hell he wins it. I said the Dallas Mavericks were going to be the seventh seed. I heard people saying, oh, they're going to be top three. Luka's MVP. I'm like, no, not yet. This year, I believe, is the year for Luka. He's going to ball out. I think he's going to win MVP, and I think he's going to lead the Mavericks to the second seed. And finally, the seventh seed, the Utah Jazz. 
I think they're going to make it 7 seed. I think the Rockets should be above them saying everyone's healthy. I think the Rockets are a bit of a better team than the Jazz. The Jazz have been a good team for years. So I think that's just what it is for the West. Now, let's go into playoff predictions. Who's going to make it out of the first round? And for the Eastern Conference first round, I have obviously the Milwaukee Bucks moving on. I think they win in like five, maybe a sweep. There's not much else to say. They're just a better team. For the second round, not the second round, for the second matchup, Celtics Sixers, I do have the Boston Celtics winning and maybe I want to say six or seven. I don't think they'll sweep like, oh, I put them in the wrong bracket. I don't think they'll sweep like last year, but I do think they will beat the Sixers maybe in six or seven. I'm going to say, I'm, I say they beat them in six. For the three versus six seed, I have Miami winning it in a grueling Seven game series. I think the Raptors can take the heat to seven. They're one of the only teams that gave them struggles last season So I believe the heat will win in seven against the Toronto Raptors. They just have the better team and They have the overall they have the best player in the series in my opinion and Jimmy Butler so for the last round of the East Nets Pacers I mean come on now come on it's going to be the Brooklyn Nets are going to move on and they're going to face the Miami Heat in round two. Beating the Indiana Pacers, I say they sweep. I'm going to call it a sweep. The Pacers have been swept for years, so that's it. Now, round two of the East, we're going to go Milwaukee in seven. I think this year they'll make it back to the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, they didn't make it last year. I was the Heat beat them the year before they made it and lost to the Raptors. We blew 2-0 lead. I think they beat the Celtics in um, 7. Celtics match up with the Bucks great, but they don't have Al Horford anymore. So I think the Bucks win in 7. And this matchup, this is a tough, tough matchup here. Without, this is no bias. This is honestly no bias. But I think the Heat win in a very, very close 7 game, very close 7 game series very close against the Brooklyn Nets. I just think that he had the better all-around team. They had the more balanced team. I think they had defenders to throw. They got Jimmy Butler to guard KD. You can't really stop KD, but I think Jimmy Butler can slow him down. You got someone like a um, Avery Bradley to throw at Kyrie Irving. Then you got scorers like Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, and Tyler Hero. So I think the he actually matched up with the Nets pretty damn decently, but I could honestly really see the Nets just... I could see the Nets beating the Heat in like five or six. So don't take this with too much of a grain of salt, but I do have the Heat beating the Nets in seven. It could go either way, either way, honestly. But I'm going to give the edge to the Heat. And for the Eastern Conference Finals, we got a rematch of last year. And I believe that the, I believe that the Bucks will finally make it to the NBA Finals. I think last year's run for the Miami Heat Cinderella run. No one expected them. No one really scouted too much for them. I think the Bucks would take care of the Heat in six or seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals. But I can see the Heat making it back to the Finals. But overall, I do have the Milwaukee Bucks making it to the NBA Finals for the first time. Now over to the West. I have the Lakers winning in six. That's why well, I'm going to leave it at that. The better team. Um, for the 4-5 seed, I have the Blazers winning also in 6. Better team overall. I, their additions of Derrick Jones Jr. and Robert Covington are just stupendous. I love them so much. I have them winning in 6. For the 3 and 6 seed, I have the Clippers winning in possibly 5. I think the Clippers will manhandle the Rockets, to be honest. For the 2 and 7 seed, I have the Dallas Mavericks winning in 7. They're the 2 seed. They don't got much experience. They did... I think if Porzingis was healthy, they would have beat the Clippers last year. Without a doubt, if Porzingis was healthy, they could have beat the Clippers or push it to seven. I have them beating the Jazz in a sweep. Now, round two, the Lakers and Blazers. I am going to have the Lakers winning in a seven-game series. A really, really tough seven-game series. I want to, like, I really want to put the Blazers there. I'm not a Lakers hater. I love LeBron. I, I just want to see the Blazers do good. I really do. I want to see Dame do really good. I want to see him at least make it to the finals. But I have the Lakers in seven. And for the Clippers-Dallas matchup, 
I have the LA Clippers making it to the Western Conference Finals. The Western Conference Finals we thought we were going to see last year, I believe will happen this year. The Clippers winning in six against the Dallas Mavericks. I just don't think the Mavericks are there yet to compete for, you know, the Western Conference Finals, but I, it could be close. Luka, Luka will find a way, but overall, let's see the Western Conference Finals, Lakers, Clippers, and I have the Lakers winning in six. The Lakers are the better team, without a doubt. The Lakers are the better team, and this is is the nba finals prediction for me what many people thought last year was going to be lakers bucks i'd love for it to be a lakers heat rematch i think if the heat are healthy they could push it to seven and possibly beat the lakers but this is my nba finals prediction my nba playoff predictions and overall i know i said i wasn't going to crown a champion but i have the lakers going back to back winning the nba championship leave like you guys did enjoy Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.